So we have come back. So one of my we were requested for a tutorial. So he is asking how to export base reaction results from ETABS to Excel. So first base reactions are used for footing design. So footing design can be done in three ways by using the base reactions you can manually design the footings. So next you can use safe software which is developed by CSI. So CSI means computer and structures incorporated. So it is abbreviated as CSI. Again you can use RCDC. So RCDC it was developed by a company called S-Cube S-Cube Technologies. So now it is part of Bentley Systems. So RCDC means Reinforced Concrete Design and Detailing. So okay. So now I will show you how to export base reaction results from ETABS to Excel. So it is very simple. See first open your STAD model, uh, STAD or ETABS model. First you run the analysis. So once you run the analysis, so go to plan and you select select lower level which is foundations or your base. So apply close. To switch on the column points, so you use display options. Here you please check this joint objects apply close okay so these are your column points so you can view the column numbers also for which Go to set display options. So in object assignment, you select unique names, apply, close. So these are the column numbers. So it is 71, 72, 73, 76 like this. 
So to view the base reactions, you select this option, display support or spring reactions or you can select it here, display force bar stress diagrams in which support bar spring reactions. So you can select the load combination, whichever the combination you want. So I will select 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 lie load. So which is my ultimate load combination. So you can in display results, you can switch on the components. So FX, FY, FZ, MX, MY, MZ like this. Either you can plot use plot type as arrows or tabulated. So if you select tabulated means it will come in this form, tabular form. So for column 74 it is your unique number for this column fx is 4.73, FY 0.58, FZ 4.81, MX 2.21, MY, MZ. So like this, you can view the base reactions. Clear. So now the question is how to export the reactions into Excel file. So for which see here you first go to display show tables. So in this you select analysis results. So in analysis result, you click on joint output. So in joint output, you select reactions. Okay. So here you can select load patterns, whatever load patterns are, you can unselect it. So select combinations. So I have designed this structure for gravity loads. So I have two load combinations. One is ultimate load combination. Another one is a service load combination. So select these two load combinations. Okay. Okay. See here. So this is the table. So go to file. A export current table to Excel. You just click this. See here. So your support reaction or joint reactions are exported to Excel. So I'll make a split screen. Okay. So let me check here. Here I have selected in ETAPS file. I have selected combination as 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 live load. I am taking an example of this joint, this column, column number 71. See here for column number 71. So 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 load. Yes, see here. So your FX is 6.14. So FY is minus 15. I am comparing your Excel with ETAPS. 
so if z 31 317 mx my okay so if you want to view the load combination only for ultimate load combination so you select it here and go to sort and filter so you you can use the filter options so in filter options you remove service load combination okay see here so now whatever the reaction support reactions are only for 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 live load so this way you can sort the reactions for various combinations so if you want to change it means so just click here so you remove 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 live load so if you select this service load combination that is dead load plus live load see here now the reactions are only for dead load plus live load later these reactions can be used for footing design you can make the grouping here and you can proceed for your footing design